Gun. What's up YouTube? Enzero here and I got a third box of Aerial Steed Liberation. Uh, yep, this is a pretty cool set. Uh, I like the Narukami stuff. Gold Paladin stuff is pretty cool. Uh, wish there was more Gold Paladin stuff, like an alternative PG or, you know, something. Might be because uh, they're going to come out with a Gold Paladin set from the Shin series. Alright, open this up. Tsukiyomi's gift this time. These packs are like really wedged in. Alright. So our imaginary gift this time is. Excel one. Oh, no, I'm stuck, wedged. There we go. This is my second Excel. Really wish I got a force. That would be cool. So I can throw it in my main deck. So yeah, got an Excel gift card. So let's get this pack opening started. And I'm not gonna say the names because uh, just be tedious. So. I'll say the right names of the, the hollows for sure. Uh, Shira Stealth Dragon Tendo Congo. Which she looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Still wish this uh, these boxes came with at least two Vanguard rares. Alternative PG that people should pick up just in case. Because draw trigger PGs are expensive these days. Even if they are double rare. Or, yeah, double rare. Alright, we got Solitary Knight Gancelot. Sweet. That will go with my Royals. I don't have an actual Royal Paladin deck now, but... Well, I do have the Trial deck, but... I don't have an actual Royal Paladin deck. One that I can build up. Uh, Dragon Dancer, Rai Rai. That's cool. I think I need three more of her. is already becoming a really cool box. Uh, Advance of Black Chains, K Kahedin, which is cool. Cool looking. Uh, yeah, kind of wish he was similar to the Royal Paladin's version of, uh, uh, what's his name? I forget, but it's where you kind of need him and his buddy and to bring out each other kind of thing. Uh, Powerful Sage Byron. That's pretty cool. It's kind of a weird art, but I like it. Kind of reminds me of a music album cover. Dud. <laughs> Two alternative PGs. Pick them up while you can. I'm going to use the those PG those PGs for uh, my Narukami deck. Uh, 
Stealth Fiend Sejumi Basho. I'm probably saying it wrong, but oh well. Alright, halfway there. Probably, yeah, halfway there. It'd be cool to pull an XVR, that'd be cool. If I can do that. Uh, Knight of Truth Gordon. Which is pretty cool. He essentially is turning your back row, any back row card into boost, which is really cool. Got a third version of him, another a third copy of him. Supreme Army Eradicator Zutan. Let's move that over a little bit. Don't think he's that great, but uh, only if you have the Vanguard rare card. Uh, Battle Sister Macron. Yes, I got a second Vanguard Rare, which is Crescent of the Full Moon Tsukiyomi, which I now I have two of those, which is pretty cool. Gotta, like, rearrange my binder, probably take out everything and leave in the, rearrange it to only have the really valuable stuff. Sweet, Fiendish Sword Eradicator Chuo, 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 whatever. So yeah, I got two of them now, so two more and I have a playset. Now only if I can pull the the Narukami cards. More the hollow ones at least. And our last pack was the dead, so that was actually a really good box. Uh, got two Vanguard Rares and a and a lot of cards I wanted, so uh, recap Fiendish Sword, Eradicator, Chuo, Goddess of the Full Moon, Tsukiyomi, Battle Sister, Macron, Supreme Army, Eradicator, Zutan, Knight of Truth, Gordon, Stealth Fiend, Sejumi, Basho, uh, Powerful Sage, Byron, Advance of the Black Chains, Kahidin, uh, Dragon Dancer, Rai Rai. Solitary Knight Gancelot, which now I just need three more. And Shura Stealth Dragon Tendo Congo, which is pretty cool. So yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>